Hey, you've got camera therapy with Mark and Shelly Photography. And I'm Mark. You probably well know that uh, Shelly and I do wedding photography. And like anything I've always seen over the years is that uh, a lot of people end up using their friends, their cousins, their uncles to do the wedding photography. Uh, I don't know if that's the smartest choice, uh, but here's some, some options I want to give you to think about. It. You know, we've gone with years and years of training, understanding what a wedding takes and how many hours you have to put in, the qualifications. Uh, that you don't want anybody just wandering off and dancing and missing items or heading over to the bar for a cocktail hour or whatever. You have to be 100% committed. If it's a 10-hour stay, you're there 10 hours, 100% focused. You're not going to get that with your cousins or your uncles or your whoever you may, you know, your friends, whoever. Um, owning a camera does not make you camera qualified there's a lot of people out there on cameras we literally put hours and hours and hours every week to this day uh, learning photography photography is like um, learning to play a guitar you only get better with practice and you know, someone's a weekend warrior they're picking up the camera every so often every three months every four months man they're not qualified to do your wedding they're qualified to do your birthday party so uh, again you know you have to understand what a photographer is doing. They're, they're directing large crowds. We're troubleshooting. We're bringing multiple backup equipment. If something goes wrong, we grab another camera. You know, someone showing up with their one camera and their one flash doesn't cut it for, again, a professional photographer has all that extra equipment. Understanding posing. Uh, I could talk hours and probably will in an up and coming video on how to pose somebody. Everybody's different. We don't memorize poses because everybody's different. You can't memorize poses, so we don't even do it. But, you know, hey, let's jump up or let's take the camera and turn it sideways. You know, that's 1980s stuff. We don't do that much unless our customers are requesting it for some reason. Understanding lighting. Lighting, look at me, like in the backyard, lighting's changing because of the clouds. You have to understand. We go out, we scope out the locations. We actually have GPS. We know when the sun's coming up, when the sun's going down, we know where to go. I don't know if you're gonna get that from your uncle, your friend, your cousin, whatever. Uh, owning a camera doesn't make you, excited, make you qualified to be the best photographer on their most unbelievable day. You know, um, don't make a mistake, I guess what I'm thinking. Look at seriously a professional photographer. Shelly and I put a package together that we're kind of giving the control back to the, the, the couples that are getting married. Your day, your way. So take a look at our website, look at what we're offering. It's a starting package and you build from there. It gives the control right back to you. You're gonna start with four hours of 100% coverage with Shelly and I, two professional photographers, and 75 images. We're not forcing albums down you or any extra time you build in from there you take your budget and go oh i can go for another six hours maybe you can do a book maybe you can do an album you know uh, that's how we're going to sell that over to you the last thing i want you to do is hire your best friend your uncle your cousin or somebody that you barely know because they own a camera because you own a camera doesn't mean you know how to operate a camera i guess that's where i'm going so um hey i'm going to kind of once again leave you with that thought um, again, cameras are like musical instruments. You have to practice, practice, practice to get really, 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 really good. So hope everybody has a good camera therapy day. You got Mark Shelley Photography. I'm the Mark. Give us a call. Give us a ring. Give us an email if we can ever help you out. I'd love to help you out. Take care now. Bye.